Hi there guys, Kate back here and welcome, welcome to this channel. In this video, we will dive into how to land an amazing deal on your next cruise. All without breaking the bank or needing to rob one. I will share the service secrets, pretty much the inside information on cruise booking. We will unlock the ways to cut costs without cutting corners on your luxury voyage. Guide you through how to time your booking just right to tap into all those sweet discounts on the offer. Sit back, buckle up, as we will crack open the vault of booking tips that will lead you straight into a vacation experience like no other without stretching the budget, not very much anyway. Season, season, season. Like in the real estate, location, location, location. High season, low season. What about the shoulder season? Not sure what that is? Neither was I before this video. So we're all learning something here. In general terms, it is not quite high, but not quite low season either. So something very much in between. You can find some of the most amazing deals on shoulder seasons and repositioning cruises. So one thing at a time, repositioning cruises are cruises when they reposition the ship, crossing the Atlantic or simply moving ships in and out of Alaska offer some of the best value for money. Those are longer cruises, generally speaking, and they are cheaper, not as crowded with fewer ports, of course. The next best deal you could find in the months just before or after the peak seasons of popular destinations. For example, consider visiting Alaska in April or late September, sailing the Mediterranean in March, October, or taking Caribbean cruise in October. In other words, either before or after the busy vacation period. Not only will you enjoy lower prices, but there will also be fewer people uh, and you cannot really put price on that. Keep in mind though, of course, the weather might not be as good, but generally, for the most part, if you're lucky enough, it would be quite decent. If you're still set on high season, book early, like ridiculously early. We're talking a year or so in advance should get you there. For low seasons, both last minute and well in advance strategies would work well. Enjoying the video? Subscribe so you don't miss the future content know where to look. One of the best websites that I've come across was Cruise Critics. So they have Cruise Critics deal score. So Cruise Critics is this website. It's a great website for cruisers. You no, no need to constantly, if not obsessively monitor prices like a stockbroker on Wall Street. Cruise Critic has you covered. They find the best deals for various websites and cruise lines for popular destinations, including last minute offer. And they would put them for you in one place with the deal score where you would know what you could get better. You could filter for pricing, onboard credit, flight discounts, free drinking package, free excursions even, and you could get your cruise that way. The higher the deal score, the better all the way up to 100%. So here, let's say I would want onboard credit, free drinks, free Wi-Fi, or maybe even free excursions and with the partner, so two people traveling, not solo, and luxury cruising. Let's see what we would come up with. So here right away, personalize your deal, and then you go down and see the options. So here, right below, you would see the actual score. So the best I could do is 91 deal score, right? And if it works for me, I would go ahead and book it, pretty much believing that this is the best deal I could get. Like in most things in life, the best deal you could get is usually a bundle. So bundle up for the best cruise deals. The greatest cruise deals go beyond just finding the lowest fare. Many cruise lines have fantastic booking promotions and come with incredible perks like complimentary specialty dining, tips, Wi-Fi, even drinks package. Almost every popular cruise line offers special deals that allow you to save a lot of money. Moreover, combining various vacation elements can also help you to cut down the individual expenses because you would tend to spend more money on something, but not other things. So it is a very individual thing. Go for the experts. They know what they're doing for a reason. They know all of the tricks and they would be able to get you the best 
deal. Travel agents have exclusive access to bulk bookings and special discounts that regular cruises simply don't know or not aware of and have no access to. Tour agents can offer additional perks like onboard credit or prepaid gratuities, which nowadays is a massive extra expense, enhancing the overall value of your vacation. So reach out to a real person, right? Inquire about the best fare, try to strike a friendship or two. You might get the best deal you could possibly get. For more useful tips, subscribe and check out my video top 10 tips for best cruising. Link down below in the description and here in the screen. Ask for more. Seriously, ask for more. When price drops, you could actually ask for credit or recalculate your rate. If prices on cruise change after booking but before final payment, travel agent can help you to benefit from lower rate. They can monitor the prices and request a refare for you. But the lower price, of course, you would have to find yourself. When the fare drops significantly, you can choose to change the rate, cancel or rebook at lower rate or receive onboard credit. But always read the fine print before deciding to cancel or rebook. Always ask questions to make sure you don't get yourself into trouble. Additionally, some of the cruise lines, NCL in particular, if you book with their agent, they could actually tell you, don't worry, you can book right away. If the prices were to go down and you know about it, you can shoot them an email and tell them, okay, the prices went down, what can we do? Normally, they can either upgrade you to a better cabin or potentially offer you onboard credit both of which could be great additional perks to your overall experience. Another great tip that I've come across is to look for a location specific website. For example, if you're looking into Caribbean, Mexico and Central America, apparently there's no better website than cheapcaribbean.com. They specialize solely on Caribbean, Mexico and Central America with best price guarantee. How do they guarantee it? If you happen to find better deal within 24 hours of booking, Cheap Caribbean will not only match the price, but also will bid it by $25. Not a big deal, but still something that really tells you that they are certain that they do offer best prices. Last but not least, tip of the day know what you are getting make sure you're comparing apples to apples when getting the best deal not apples to oranges the problem is when you see the final price aside from the currency changes always convert if you're not booking directly from the us Aside from that, you don't know what's included in that price. Interestingly enough, when you book with other websites, in, in case of NCL, for example, just a recent story, when you book with NCL directly, they have the bare minimum. There is nothing there in the price usually, right? When you book with other websites like Booking.com or Cruise Direct, they already include free at sea which is an expensive thing in and out of itself, usually a couple hundred dollars, sometimes $300 per person. On top of that, nowadays they have quote unquote hidden costs because they would add $200 per person on a 10 day cruise and that would be service charge and you cannot opt out of it. And interestingly enough, they don't mention it sometimes. So just, yeah, you get it, you get free at sea, which includes drinks and $50 per every port excursion and whatnot. But they wouldn't say that you are obliged to pay service charges at least i wasn't told at first i was comparing bare minimum prices of ncl with that of cruise direct but then i realized that cruise direct already did include the free at sea making it much much cheaper so always compare apples to apples make sure you understand what you're actually buying and specifically call sometimes and even ask the cruise agents what is included are there hidden costs? What else do I have to pay? If you ask them point blank, they cannot presumably lie to you, right? So they would tell the truth. Other than that, that would be all that I wanted to share with you in this tips for best cruise deals. I hope it was helpful. I absolutely love cruising. All of the hassle aside, it is one of the best ways to travel, to see so many beautiful destinations without much of hassle whatsoever everything is prepared everything is organized and generally it every single cruise that i've done has been probably the best experience in terms of traveling in my life so it's certainly worth the hassle just take your time 
make sure that you follow the tips all of the tips or some of them and you will get the best deal possible check out my other videos my full experience videos on cruising don't forget to subscribe and see you soon